Tell us uh, a little bit about your offseason. I uh, just spent a lot of time with the family. You know, it's uh, it's been a long one, unfortunately, but it gave me some time uh, to spend some time with the kids and, and get away a little bit. So uh, I've been having a lot of fun with them, watching them grow and chasing them around the house. So it keeps me in shape, that's for sure. Were you able to just kind of shut things off immediately? No, I mean, after a season like that, it's it's tough to, to kind of unwind and, and settle things down. But uh, I took some time away, like I said, uh, went and visited my wife's family and and, uh, and got away out of the city for a little bit. I uh, came back refreshed, focused and ready to get back at it. So I'm uh, ready to get uh, ready to get things going again. There's been some minor movement in player personnel this year, but for the most part, it's the core group is coming back. What has to change this year in your opinion to kind of change things from last year? I think we need to get off to a better start. Obviously, last year we put ourselves behind the eight ball right away, and uh, getting off to start like we did a couple of years ago kind of uh, puts you in a good spot and gets uh, confidence high right off the bat. So I think we are... Our start is a, is a huge focus, and that starts in training camp. So uh, I know that guys are uh, getting ready to, to come back into town soon, and they're going to be fired up and ready to go. Uh, we don't want another repeat of last year, and everyone knows that. Looking at that start, you start in Europe, and you come back, and it's a pretty tough three-game road trip. You know, mm -hmm. East Coast. Like, is, is that a good thing, team bonding? You're going to be together for a long time, I guess, when you go to Europe. I think so. Um, anytime you can get a, a long road trip like that to start the season, guys are always together. You're you're on the plane, you're hanging out, you're in hotel rooms. Uh, you know, it's it's just a fun time to be away with the guys. And obviously, um, hockey is the main focus, but um, you always have to focus on those team gatherings and stuff like that to build a, a good rapport with everyone in the room and uh, lets the new guys get to get a chance to know everyone else that's been around for a while. So I think that's going to be a, a great trip for us, and we're looking forward to that. Obviously. What do you think about the changes uh, starting with the coaches? Staff and the new uh, I like everything that we've been able to do this summer. Um, I've already talked to a couple of the new coaches. They've called and introduced themselves, and um, like the new direction that everything's kind of going. But uh, and obviously the guys that we've added, we've added um, you know some some veteran leadership and in, in certain roles and stuff like that. So I think everything's going to come together nicely. We have our core group back. Uh, so I think that uh, everything we've been able to do just complements the guys that have already been here. So I'm looking forward to getting going. Have you have a new backup this year. Have you talked to him at all, or what do you, you know anything about him coming in here? I played against him a couple of years ago in the World Championships. I know that he's a big boy, one heck of a goalie. Yeah. So it's going to be a good internal competition for me, definitely. And I'm looking forward to working with him. Is that good for, for a guy like you to have that, someone pushing you and, and things like that? That's always good. I mean, anytime you get that internal competition, it's it just pushes everyone to be better. And, um, you know, if you develop a great relationship with a guy, that's even better because you're still always cheering for each other, rooting for each other to do well. Uh, but at the same time, you're pushing each other on and off the ice. So that's always a good thing to have. Was it off-putting that, you know, wait a minute, I'm your goalie and you're paying two and a half for, for a backup? No, you know, I, I, I like the competition. I, I enjoy it. Um, like I said, it just pushes everyone to be better. And, uh, you know, maybe it'll take a little bit um, of games away from me and I can uh, be at the top of my game. For you, what does it take to get back to the top of the game? I'm not saying that you were there last year, but you know, what, did, what do you got to do to have the year you had two years ago? Uh, I think I finished the way that I, I had my season two years ago. So down the stretch, I felt uh, as good as I had all season long and going back to a couple of years ago. So I think I just need to, to pick up where I left off. And like I said, I need to have a good start so the rest of the team can have a good start. So I'm focused on that right now. So you played in these programs many before. And what's the difference with pressures of, like, you know, there's zero pressure on me out here. I, I know my game. I know that I'm not very good, so I'm not looking to go drive the ball 300 yards. If I can not hit it in the water every other shot, then I'm happy with that.